Hey guys, hey, hey, hey. So I am back. Yep, you see me with the same sweater because today is the day that I'm doing a bunch of videos. I'm so mad, y'all. I kind of like lost two nails. I gotta put my nails back on. But anyway, but guys, I am super excited to be talking to you guys today. Y'all know who I am. I'm Belise Spivey. I am the STD Life Coach. I assist individuals living with STIs and STDs, old and new diagnosis. I'm offering education, um, support, and also encouragement to overcome the stigma and live again, guys. So today we're going to be talking about the PCR, the swab test. are you today if you're seeing me which is police anything about outbreaks this is the the series that you're gonna learn everything you can learn if you feel like i'm leaving something out please go in the comment like who told you that that desire was normal who told you that watching that was fine who told you that if, if god said it in the beginning of the word just how many times have the devil told you something was normal hey guys how are you today so i'm so excited you know who i am i'm belise Spivey. the world with area and let me know like please do a video on this or please do a video on that and best believe guys i'm gonna do what i do best is make a video about it so i want to tell you guys i appreciate everybody i'm loving on everybody uh, i'm happy you guys are loving the uh We're going to talk about that today. You're like, okay, Belize, you right. Like, what is that? Um, um, if you have had any outbreaks um, and you didn't know it was an outbreak, you're like, what is this? And you went in there, your doctor took this little Q-tip looking thing. It was a long stick and they swabbed it. Um, when they swab it, what they do is they're taking this to the lab and they look under a microscope to see what it is. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, this test is very accurate, um, especially if you're outbreak. And I want to say a couple of things. So please listen to me. I need you to listen to me pertaining to the uh, PCR test. The PCR test test is the most accurate but it can be not as accurate depending on when you go so I have many people come to me all the time and say please I have some bumps I have this I want you to look at it and I'm gonna tell you some disclaimer I am NOT a medical professional guys do not come to me with no pictures because I'm gonna send you to the doctor and you no point of sending me like I can give you some medicine I can't I can't give you no medicine I understand you want to know if it, it is but the best thing to do is to go Go get tested. Stop looking for somebody to confirm something. Confirm it with a real answer, with some tests. Um, I challenge you guys, if you have anything going on with you, if you're feeling anything, go to the goddamn doctor, y'all. Y'all looking to Google and everybody to answer you. No, if you're having some type of symptoms, go to the doctors. We don't have doctors for no reason, guys. Go to the doctor, get it tested, get it swabbed, get some blood tests, and it'll help you and give you a clear answer, okay? Now, if you're in a situation where it's like, I did all that, they're still not giving me answers, and I can assist you a little bit more, and I'll probably recommend you another route of what type of doctor to go to or what type of question to say or things like that, because sometimes you're going in and you're not fully educated so many doctors will brush you off uh, because they just don't want to do their job um, so I can uh, equip you to really advocate for yourself to get the service that you deserve um, but that's not the case you having bumps you having anything and you're like uh, I don't know what this is so when you go in and he was like hey this is what I have this is what it looked like like I said they're gonna take the big q-tip um, and they're going to swab it guys it's important that as soon as you see this bump cut whatever go get tested right away when you let it start healing it makes it very hard to get a good dna strength a dna off of a good swab um i'm going to tell you now you do not want them to break an outbreak okay you do not want them to try to break it to get the um fluid out of it i know from experience when i first found out my diagnosis by the time i went back because my doctor had a uh, emergency so she couldn't see me that day so i had to wait over the whole three-day weekend and literally wait to Monday and by then it started healing now my nurse had to literally break open my outbreak which was the most painful thing in the world and literally to get a good swab she knew she probably knew what it was but she needed to swab it so I will tell you as soon as you got any type of any type of bumps or anything like that go get it swabbed right away don't wait weeks because by then at this point it's going to be fairly hard to swab it to get a good um swab off of it you want to make sure you get it in the gooey state in the nasty state and uh, if you got any discharge or anything like that it's a good state to go 
That's the best time to go so you can confirm exactly what it is, okay? Um, so I don't want you guys to stop waiting and letting it heal and all that stuff. Stop doing that. Go right away and get the test done so you can find out exactly what it is, guys. Exactly what it is. Um, the best thing to do, they say, or literally don't wait more than 48 hours like or 72 hours, something like that. Um, I know that can, can be kind of hard if you're working and stuff like that. Um, but I will tell you, just best believe, if you have some type of symptoms, um, it's, you know, gooping or anything that's just abnormal, make sure you go get it swabbed right away. Now, I'm going to say this. Don't let them swab you. It ain't nothing there. Nothing going to show up. My, I, I have people say, you know, I found out my diagnosis. I had an outbreak. You know, they confirmed it. My partner went. They said they swab. I said, swab what? It ain't nothing to swab. It's nothing there. Swabbing skin is not going to tell you have herpes. You got to be having an outbreak at that time. Literally a physical outbreak at that time. Just swabbing skin at this given moment that I know of ain't going to tell you that you have herpes. Okay, so with that being said, guys, please, when you have these people coming back and say, I got tested and they swabbed me, you say, oh, so you're having an outbreak. They're like, no, okay, then that test is none and void. Okay, this is why education is very important because at the end of the day, people say they're going to get swabbed and they're not fully getting tested properly. So that person could have gave you the virus and didn't know it, but they went to a doctor who don't want to do no work, don't want to do no blood test or don't believe in the blood, blood test because they believe it's just absolutely not accurate at all. So they don't want to do that at all. So they swab you just to get you out of the office. Guys, don't let nobody swab you and ain't nothing there. For what? Nothing going to show up. There's nothing going on. Okay, so please be careful with that. Um, also, if you're going to the doctor's office like that, if you have a friend and it's like, oh, I think I got it. They're like, well, you have an outbreak? No, don't swallow me. I need a blood test. Give me blood tests. And I mean, give me everyone you got up in here. Okay. And if you haven't watched my last video, go over to my last video about the IgM test. I've talked about that test. Um, and within this coming weeks, you'll hear me talk about the IgG test. But I talked about it a little bit in that video. Um, so I really want us guys to understand and be educated pertaining to the tests that we have for herpes. Because the thing is, they're not testing us. It's not a reportable STD. They do not have to test us for it. Um, so with that being said, you have to request it and you got to know what you're requesting for when you don't know what you're requesting for you're not getting proper care if you're not getting proper care you're not doing preventive measures you're not doing your yourself any service and you don't know your status guys and I don't want that for you guys so make sure you share this video and also the IGM video with other individuals pertaining to herpes because if they don't know this information they the chances are they're going to be failed they're going to be very much failed going to the doctor's office because number one they know they don't have to um they know they don't have to test for it. They know it's not a reportable STD. And they know that most people have the virus. And they know also that uh, herpes cause psychological distress. And they ain't got, they don't want to have nothing to do with your mental. That's not their job. Um, so with that being said, they, they can understand how it can really mess with your head. So a lot of people just do not want to deal with it at all. Um, so it's just very important that you know what these tests are. So... Like I said, today we talked about the PCR test. Make sure you get that test done ASAP. It is a very accurate test. Don't let them swab you. If it ain't nothing else, don't waste your time. Okay, but I'm happy that you guys watched this video. I hope it's educational. I hope, I hope it truly helped you. Make sure you share with other individuals. If you have any questions, concerns, go over to my website, www.scdlifecoach.com, guys. Products, um sessions information is all there everything you need is on in that website guys don't forget um the overcome a gathering tour 2020 is here guys we start that tour in may you don't want to miss it we're going to new orleans we're going to new york we're going to watch dc we're going to chicago and we're coming to atlanta guys so you do not want to miss it um it's going to be a three hour event very exclusive, private, intimate, 30 people. That's all we're going to be. It's going to sell all the way out. You don't want to miss it. Um, that's why I'm promoting as early as I can so I can have as many people who come out that they can come out. So if you want to do that, make sure you get your tickets. Only $75. Go over to my website and you can get the, all the information there or you can get that information below. So I love you guys. And if you need me, you know where to find me. Talk to you soon. Deuces. <laughs>